Good day. We are students from the pharmacy department and we are here to discuss our paper entitled Clinical Study of Interleukin-6 Inhibitory Activity of Polyunsaturated Fatty Acids, specifically Eicosapentanoic Acid from Capophycus albaretsi, also known as cotton. So for the introduction, rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory joint condition with an incidence of approximately 5 in 1,000 adults worldwide. It has resulted in disability, failure to function, and increased mortality. So according to the statistics from the World Health Organization, RA strike mostly on years of 20 to 40, with a 0.3 to 1% of the population, and is very, very common on women. So, rheumatoid arthritis is comprises of synovial inflammation, swelling, production of autoantibodies, bone deterioration, and also comprises of disorders such as cardiovascular disorders, psychological, pulmonary, and the skeleton. So, one of the major pro-inflammatory cytokine is the interleukin-6. It is very important in as a component of inflammatory responses, especially on rheumatoid arthritis. It activates osteoclasts and leukocytes and is involved in the beta lymphocyte differentiation. It is also involved in lipid regulation. So for the usual treatment of rheumatoid arthritis, this includes NSAIDs, corticosteroids, DMARTs or disease-modifying arthritis rheumatic drugs, um, pharmacotherapy, and occupational therapy and regular exercise. So seaweeds are used in food, cosmetics, medicine, and in pharmacy. They provide high nutritional value and donate nutrition, nutrients like protein, amino acids, and minerals and vitamins. So what we use in our paper is Capophycus alvarensi. It is also known as Eukema cottony. It is a shallow aquatic seaweed. It lacks stems, roots, and leaves, and has a leaf-like blade. And one of the most cultivated species by Filipino seaweed farmers. It was also used as poultice for swollen knees and joints. So it also contains polyunsaturated fatty acids or PUFA, and mainly eicosapentaenoic acid. It is an inhibitor of pro-inflammatory cytokine interleukin-6. And there are no recent literature data about its pharmacological use in the regulation of rheumatoid arthritis. The phyto phytochemical analysis of Capophycus alvarensi. For the water soluble part, it is used as hypoglycemia in hypoglycemia and hypercholesteremic. While for the insoluble part, it is associated with decreased in gastric transit. Since they are used from they originate from ma marine sources, there are heavy metals that accumulate in, in the plant which may cause toxicity yet however there are it is proven that the tox heavy metal levels in the in the seaweed is considered as tolerable Capophycus alvarensi contains carbohydrates proteins starch while they don't have alkaloids glycosides flavonoids tannins terpenoids and saponins and in the rest, they, also, they have quinones, gums, and saponins. So, Calpicus alvarensi has a high amount of monosaturated fatty acids, or MUFA, specifically oleic acid being its predominant fatty acid. They also have high proportion of polyunsaturated fatty acids, 
like arachidonic, linoleic, and eicosapentaenoic acid. So for the epidemiology of RA, it is highest recorded prevalence in American Indian population and has low incidence in African population and very low occurrence in Southeast Asia, China, and Japan. It is more incidence with men and during RA, the testosterone level of men are low. It is also caused by infectious agents and during blood transfusion. So for the pathogenesis of RA, to recap, the anatomy, we have the bone, the joint, capsule, synovial membrane, also known as synovium, which produces synovial fluid that helps in lubrication and cartilage. In RA, there is an inflammation of the synovium and this causes pain and swelling. This also leads to bones and cartilage erosion. Another feature is angiogenesis. In a more deeper level or cellular level, the synovial membrane is made up of cell known as fibroblasts, which is very important in the pathogenesis of RA. The exact trigger of this disease is most quiet unknown. However, we are now looking at what cells we can find here and what cells are involved. So to begin, macrophages secreting cytokines such as TNF-alpha, interleukin 1 and 6, which links to inflammation. These cytokines also stimulate fibroblasts, and when fibroblasts are stimulated, they become activated and they begin to proliferate. At the same time, they also begin assisting in that rank L expression which together with the cytokines will stimulate osteoclast activity which lead to bone erosion that is found in RA. When the fibroblasts are stimulated and proliferate, they also begin secreting proteases. These proteases cause cartilage to break down and the cartilage also secrete proteases like a feedback loop. Another feature of fibroblast is that when it's stimulated, this can migrate from joint to joint. T cells can also find in the area that fills 50% of the immune cells in the synovium. These T cells can also secrete interleukin 17, which, which will promote macrophage in activity as well as stimulate the fibroblast. T cells also help in the expression of Frank L, which stimulate steoclast for bone erosion. You can also find plasma cell in the area. Plasma cell only make up a small majority, about 5% of the immune cells, and they assist inflammation through cytokines as well as antibodies. In the synovial fluid, neutrophils are located and neutrophils produce proteases and reactive oxygen species which will cause bone and cartilage degradation. We can also find immune complex which is a feature of RA. These complexes are antibodies that bind to one another and they essentially promote inflammation. So those are the cells that are we can find in RA. Also, here is angiogenesis that helps increase vascular permeability and expression of adhesion of molecules, allowing these immune cells to migrate into the joint. Now, where do these cells came from and why do they migrate into these joints? The cause are unknown. And for the diagnosis of RA, Stiffness that is usually worse in the morning and after inactivity are experienced. Fatigue and weight loss due to lack of appetite. And according to American College of Rheumatology or ACR and European League Against Rheumatism or EULAR, made a criterion in diagnosing RA. This include the following. Number one, the number and site of involved joints. Two, serologic abnormalities. Three, elevation of inflammatory markers and the duration of symptoms. 
Complete blood cell count with differential are also determined during diagnosis of RA. A rheumatoid factor and erythrocyte sedimentation rate greater than 30 mm per hour or C-reactive protein or CRP greater than 0.7 pg per ml. Anti-citrullinated peptide antibody or ACPA, rheumatoid factors or RF, and anti perinicular factor or APF. Anti-carotene antibody or AKA were also determined. Ultrasound and magnetic resonance imaging or MRI were also used. Role of polyunsaturated fatty acids. Eicosapentenoic acid and docosahexenoic acid are polyunsaturated fatty acids known for their anti-inflammatory effect. EPA and DHA control the cell activity substrates of the synthetic eicosanoid pathway and metabolize to lipid peroxides. It has been reported that the dietary supplement n 3 is rich in EPA which reduces the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines including interleukin 1b, interleukin 6, and tumor necrosis factor alpha in healthy individuals and patients with rheumatoid arthritis. EPA also have benefits in the central nervous system because of its activity to suppress the arachidonic acid, a pro-inflammatory biological by interacting with phospholipase A2 function. To conclude, PUFA in Kapofaikos Averenzi can be part of a crucial role in rheumatoid arthritis treatment. Tocilizumab, however, can target interleukin-6 cytokines, cytokines that, trigger, that trigger inflammation causing joints and tissue damage. However, it can also increase the risk of infection. Alphacos alferensi, on the other hand, has high amounts of PUFA and it showed good results as possible source of treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Further studies are still required to validate the activity, to validate this activity such as in in vitro and in, in vivo studies. This will serve as another way in targeting rheumatoid arthritis which in future might decrease the likelihood of progressive and, and diseases that involves the immune system. Thank you and God bless.